Hello everybody, Double Talk 73 the fisherman's friend here again. Been a while since I put up a video, but I had to grind and grind and grind to get to level 54 so I can come to Blue Crab Island, and that's where we are. So, let's uh, see what we got going on here. Okay, this is the waterway. Uh, it's big, and there's a lot of tributaries and branches and a lot of stuff that haven't been uh, researched yet so let me give you some kind of idea here's the map look at here it's it is it's a lot believe me uh, a lot of it we haven't even I say we the people that I fish with on a regular basis there's a lot of stuff in this area uh, over here to the left we haven't even gone into it yet but uh, mainly we fish in this area the main area down here there's a barge you can fish uh, by the thickets by the barge uh, also the thickets on this side of the uh, waterway as well the first thicket if, here's the barge and you just come this way and there's a, there's a thicket right here you can fish at or the dock then down over here are different species now these are the only species you can really target on here uh, largemouth bass uh, speckled peacock bass Oscar there's another Oscar up and spread these out a little bit more there we go See, there's another butterfly peacock bass and where is it at there it is Oscar okay small it down a little bit scale it down I tell you it's hard to move this map around where you see what you want to see okay here we go there's unique butterfly peacock bass and here is Oscar but there's also another uh, there's two of them right there one on top of each other you can get unique butterfly peacock bass there as well and you can park right between these two this one here uses the uh, patriotic walker and this one uses the X series walker but you can park right in between and cast one, cast the other, cast one, cast the other, and and uh, catch both. Now, out here in the main area, go out in here, and over here by this one thicket, there's a couple of marks, and I'll note them in the tarpon, 129 pounds. That's not the biggest I caught. I just marked it. See there? 129 pounds. 35 pound uh, unique common snook they get bigger red drum get bigger okay back here at the dock we got a lot of marks around the dock it's a good place to fish at night see here common snook 34 pound unique bow fin 15 pounds Unique common snook, 33 pounds. Unique permit, 66 pounds. Tarpon, 120 pounds. Now this is right off the dock as you can fish. Red drum, 79 pounds. Okay, that's just an idea. Fish here are huge. Okay, the largest fish in the game are here, the tarpon. And they go up to... 145 pounds I do believe let's look at the leaderboard fish unique tarpon 154 pounds there you go 154 pounds that's the biggest fish in the game right now okay so when you come bring your big equipment I use I have two set up with my 
down rod, my heavy chaser 10-2, set up just the same. It's uh, maximum 59.5 weight. I use a, a <clears throat> excuse me, Leviathan 10,000, which is a 57 pound, 57.7 pound max. So that's 59, 57. Then I use 0.011 braid, which is 57 pounds. So that's pretty matched up good. Eight ounce sinker, a titanium leader. That's important. You're going to be catching tarpon and permit that have teeth, and they'll bite them right off. They'll bite them fluorocarbon. They'll bite them suckers right off. So be sure and bring your titanium leaders. 0.014. I use a barbless six or seven odd hook, uh, eight ounce sinker, and large minnows. They're set up both the same way. Then I have a kind of a medium weight, medium heavy weight, I guess the way to say it. Uh, bobber set up rig. I've got a 57 pound max weight on a Majestic 11.5 Leviathan 10 pound. That's a good universal reel. So we got 57, 57. There again, 0.011 57 pound line. Glowing night bobber. I like it's easy to see. Uh, I like to set my leader 41 inches. 41's been real lucky for me. Uh, also, the first one, big one I caught, I caught a 130-pounder, caught on a 15-inch leader. But 41 is produced more regularly. 8-ounce, I don't have a sinker, sorry. <laughs> uh, I got a 4-out hook on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. I like to use barbless because you get more, I'll put a 7 on that one. You get more XP if you use a barbless hook. Okay, then I have another rod, same thing, Majestic 11.5, same, whoops, same reel, same line, same bobber, that's a 20, I'm going to put it to 41, okay, then I have two heavy casting rigs, this is a, uh, I don't know how to say that, Thetis, I guess six foot seven, 67 pound max line weight. I've got here again, I've got the uh, Leviathan 10,000 on it, 0.011 line. That's a good heavy line. That's about one of the best lines we got in here, universal line. And then I've got a uh, X series jig, half ounce. And a lot of times the one and a half. Be sure and bring you one and a half. One and a half, number four. That's what a lot of fish like. I was experimenting with that half inch a while ago. So we got one and a half inch, number four. And the larva. Uh, this is one that they really like. This X series glow crawl. When you get those, you'll have 10 of them. Okay. And be sure and bring your X series nymph if you have one. Uh, the larva you can get, you can buy it with coins, or you can wait till you get level 55 and you can pick it up for money. I haven't tried this larva yet, but I haven't tried the shad or the worms yet. But that's that's a heavy rig. Now this is my heaviest rig. This is one I use more than <clears throat> more than the others when I'm. So you see, you got a a sharp caster, seven foot SE, 72 and a half pound rod. They got a 70 and a half pound reel. Power grab 7,000. 0.012 braid. The 0.012 braid is 66.1 pound. That's about the heaviest good line we can get here. Then I use the uh, one and a half ounce number four jig, and I've got that uh, same glow crab on here. Now I'd like to be able to tell you where you can go to catch individual fish, but I'm telling you, you can catch anything anywhere one hint if you're going to go tarpon fishing well let's just let's go down here at the dock let's go fish let's go in a private room so people leave us alone see where we're at we're out here in the middle of nowhere okay let's go to the dock the easy way go here here Oops, bloop, bloop, bloop. That didn't work.
work, did it? <laughs> now let's go here. Okay, we're at the dock. This is the one where the boat's tied up. We want to walk right out here. Put our rod stand down. And then what I do is I throw two bottom rods. And you, you don't really need a marker. If you see where I'm aiming, right out in here, in, in this area. See where that kind of cut is in the, in the reflection? To right in here. And what I'll do is I'll throw it just in here. Now in my description, I'll do the best that I can to send you this marker and this marker, the GPS locations, so that you can, anywhere in between them, you're going to catch fish. You'll catch permit, red drum, tarpon, uh, gaff top sail, striped bass, just a little bit of everything. See, there's, there's one of my... Same deal. I put a bobber out there. Now let me teach you about the bobbers down here. They, when you put them on a rod stand, they're going to raise cane. They're just going to go dee 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 like you think you got a fish on. But all it is is an indicator. When you get a fish on and you it starts making noise and ding and ding and ding and what you do, let's say it's on number three. Pick up number three. And just wait. Wait till your bobber up here goes under. Okay? And then you'll set your hook and then be ready for a fight. Same thing with the bottom rig. When you're watching them and they start dinging, 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 watch your line. I like to turn my light off so you can see it better. Okay? And zoom in and you can see it better. And then wait till that line moves left or right or the end of that rod starts dipping. Okay. That's the way you do that. Uh, okay. Now, the best time to fish for tarpon is early morning, uh, late evening, a little bit at night. Not, not as good at night. Okay. So we're going to bring these in right now. Oh, there's an airplane. That thing will drive you crazy. When you're down there fishing around that barge, all of a sudden, it's right over your head. It's like it it was come off the barge when it took off. Like that barge is an aircraft carrier, which it's not. But uh, you don't know that. Seven. Here we go. Most of the times, I haven't found any of the other retrieve techniques work any better than stop and go at three speed. Okay, let's see. This might be number four. There we go. But they're big. Okay. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go do a little look here this is a good time to fish here from from five to seven i like to go from six to eight but but you can fish anywhere along in here and back here you can go from six well i like seven to nine six o'clock but seven to nine and then on into night you come back to the dock so let's let's go six to seven a.m and where we're going to fish we're going to fish out here by the uh barge let's pick a rod stand up i can leave it there because we're not going to use it out here wish we could now this is the new boat the boat that you get uh before you get down here will go uh, 45 mile an hour i believe it is this will go 51 i believe it is so we're going to run up there to the barge. so i won't be able to talk to you for a minute till we get up there so let's go
Now it's supposed to go faster than that. I don't know why it's not. Maybe it's because I'm tired. Okay, let's try it again. Bring our rod back up. Start the motor. There we go. Now where we're going to fish is right over here. By this group of mangroves. I can get there. Now here's something too. There's no current here. You can use your trolling motor. And do whatever you want. Go back up a little bit so we get, get a little bit of di casting distance. Okay. I press my R button, bring the rod up, press the Z key, put the anchor down, press the Z key again, bring the anchor up, put your rod down, I mean your uh, trolling motor down, get your rod, and you're not going anywhere. You're there. So let's see if I can catch something at night. Just, just we'll give it a try before we go in the morning. Let's see. Let's go to a peak. We want to go to uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's go to 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. And see what happens. And I'm just going to, here again, the fish, you see that where the markers are? All along in here. I just I'll name one place, I'll go another. Now I've got that glow crawl on. We'll just see what happens. Now one thing about it, you notice I've got my rod up, I mean my anchor up. The reason being if I catch a really big tarpon here, it'll take you for a ride. I mean it'll take you for a long ride. And they don't come in very easy, so I'm going to back up a little more. Give me a little more casting distance. Okay, same thing. Rod, control motor up, anchor down, anchor up, rod, and control motor back down. Okay. Now, we're going to cast over this side. Now, you know me. I'm not much of a lure fisherman. I like down rods and I like bobbers. Maybe you call me a laser fisherman. I don't know. <laughs> but, but I like now it's slow fishing down here. It's like the Euro Lakes. Uh, now you, you can get a hot spot off the dock and I'll show you that in a minute. But there's there's so many places to fish around here. The, the amount of area that the water encompasses is huge just remember bring the biggest rod and reel combination for your float and your casting as you can because 154 pounds uh, a, a Brutus 910 ain't gonna bring it in it's just it's just not okay let's do what I like to do now Let's go the next morning. Okay. Let's get my number. Let's try number three. Okay. Same deal. Uh, anchor up. Anchor down. Anchor up. Rod back out. Now if we catch something. Now they, there's some big permits here too. I got a picture of one. What's funny is you take a trophy and take a picture of it, and this is all you can see. <laughs> you see, you see, you see your top of your cap and your forehead and your eyes because the fish is so big. When you catch a a uni, you can't even hardly see your you. Let's see what we got here. Large minnows. There we go, tarpon. Now 
I like large minnows. Okay, rod up. See, I moved a little bit. Anchor down, anchor up, rod and trolling motor back out. Okay. It's a lot of information to absorb down here. I, I just, I wish I could tell you, go here and fish for this, go here and fish for that. But that's just not the way it is. Uh, wherever you throw out a, a, a bait, you're liable to catch anything. Uh, a f southern flounder, uh, they get pretty good size too. Uh, the biggest fish here are the tarpon. The permit plays better XP. I say permit. It might be permit. I don't know. It's P-E-R-M-I-T. Uh, they're built to f cut through the water. You can tell whether you've got a tarpon on or a permit because the tarpon, just like the sturgeon in California and in Michigan, they break top water, and the permit just cuts her on the top of it. About all you can see is it's back and it's thin. And you'll know what you got. Same deal as if you're used to fishing for musky. Down here, your bobber will move. Here we got predatory fish. Your bobber is going to move left or right, left or right. Ding, left or right. But when it stops, when it stops moving, within a second or two is when that fish is going to hit. You see, we're still moving a little bit. We got a ding, but it's still moving. We're going to catch one here, whatever the next one is we catch. Then I'm going to go over to the other thicket, and we're going to fish there. And then we're going to go to the dock. Now, either dock, you fish about the same angle. See where it's headed? It's, it, it's anywhere in between there and there. Okay, they're a little bit bigger fish. I heard it splash. That's probably another tarp. Yep. See how it breaks water? A little bit bigger fish. A little bit bigger than the 30-something pounder we had. A uh, buddy of mine was fishing here the other day, and he had his anchor down. He had a 1,000-foot of line on his reel. It took him out to 600-and-something feet before he started bringing it. This is small. Believe me, that's small. But anyhow. Okay. Let's go over to this other thicket. It's just right over here. And if you don't know how to find it, you go over here and just go along the edge. You'll see the mangroves. See these mangroves? They're sticking out. Okay. That's where you want to fish around. And do and explore. You might find a better place. See, there's a little island of mangroves here. That's what you're looking for for this second spot that we've had success at. Okay. Back up. Is that it? There's my marker there. I don't see it. Okay, let's. Move on down. There it is. Z button. Slam on the brakes. Okay, let's put our trolling motor down. Anchor up. Trolling motor down. And we can just turn on a dime. And I'll give you the GPS location. The GPS location is going to drive you crazy. I'm sorry. And we're going to back up. Put my anchor down. Stop. Oops, got to get my rod up first. Okay. Anchor down. Anchor up. Rod and trolling motor out. And I like to fish here with either bottom rods or floats. 
I'm trying to give you as much information as I can on this video. It's a lot. But when you come down here, you just have to investigate yourself and find what works for you. Like I said, here I caught 138 pound uh, tarpon. That's the biggest I've ever caught in the game. Biggest fish, period. And they get almost 20 pounds heavier. So it took me about 45 minutes of game time to get it in. I didn't have a big enough rig. So I had, went and had to go home and, and buy me a bigger rig. But if you like my video, please subscribe and click on that bell, whichever side is on, so that when I put up new videos, you'll, uh, you'll get notified. I need to cast in a little further. I'm not too far out. Let's try that. The closer you can get to the mangroves without getting hung up, the more likely the fish will come out to you. There we go. I was wondering if that 41 was too deep. This is where I used 15 inch to catch that, that big one. But I've had more luck with that 41 inch depth off the dock and over there by the barge. One of the harder ones to catch are the flounder. They like that X series glow three speed along the bottom. And they also like, every once in a while, they like the large minnows uh, on a float and on the bottom rig. A lot of information. You may want to watch this video more than once to try to absorb all of it. Uh, I've been down here real time. Four, five days, five days. Today's the fifth day. And uh, a friend of mine gifted me the sport pack, which everyone has this boat in it and a big net and all the other stuff. Uh, that's the other thing. You see, that I've got the 881, 881 net. Now, there's a bigger one than that. It comes in that sport pack. 881 is all I need because I'm going to make enough money off of that by catching these fish, that I can do whatever I need to do, enough XP. Not only that, but when it comes in that sport pack, if you want to get rid of it, I, I clicked on it to sell it. I thought it said $300. It's 300 coins, okay? I clicked on one of the rods that I wasn't going to use, and it was 90 coins. I clicked on a reel that I wasn't going to use. It's 200 coins. That's 600 coins not counting the other stuff that came in there. Uh, the boat. I kept my other bass boat as kind of a, a money backup. But this one is 300 coins if you want to sell it and keep the other one. Uh, the only difference is six mile an hour. So it's going to get there just as fast. Six mile an hour is not a whole lot of difference. Now, if you were fishing... Let's go to 15 inches. If you were fishing in a in a uh, tournament and you wanted to get from one place to another, as fat, I mean a real bass tournament, then that six mile an hour could mean a difference whether you win win a tournament or come in first, second, third, last, whatever. It's a big difference when you're talking about them, but we're not. So. But there are rods and reels in there that are very, very, very useful. I don't usually suggest people buying DLCs, but it also comes with 30 days of premium and 30 days of uh, license. Uh, 30 days of premium is not cheap. 30 days of license here are uh, $1,000. dollars a day. Travel down here is 14500 Maybe it's 9000 I'll look in just a second. But anyhow, it's about twenty five grand if you just want to come down here and fish one day. But if you buy that DLC, you can fish here for 30 days, go anywhere else, come back. You pay your travel. That's it. 
and you've got premium which gives you 50% more money and XP if you're trying to get uh, higher level get there a little faster so like I say I don't usually tout buying DLCs this was a gift to me and I told the guy he shouldn't have he said it's tough you have to take it if there's no refund I said okay then we started looking at it holy smokes it's got a bunch of good stuff in it like I said over 600 coins just for those items that I that I could sell that I wasn't going to use and that's not including the boat Now there's the bad thing about fishing mangroves. You're gonna your bait's gonna run into them. What we can do is we can cheat a little bit. We can tighten her light up. Not give it a chance to go in there. <laughs> we hope. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little bit of scratchy throat today. Something after it. See how fast it's moving back and forth? Now stop, go under, and what do we got? Now come on. Come on, fishy. Come on. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I would whistle, but I don't want to hurt your bones. Ah, oh, thought it was going under. It stopped there. There we go. Stops. Under she goes. Let's see what we got here. There's a permit. Now, I want you to look at this, look at this thing. Now, this is not a big one. But looky there. Now you can imagine one. So you can see my nose, but you can imagine one. This says 33 pounds. You can imagine one. That's a trophy. You can imagine one almost twice as big. What it'll do. Okay. That's that. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now. And we're going to, uh, what I'll do is, is I'll pick it up at another time from the dock. Uh, that way I just the video is not too long so uh, I hope you enjoyed it like I say there's a lot of information down here if you see me in a game and you want to ask questions please do so I'll be glad to help you any way that I can so if you make it down here uh, a lot of people say you can fish in uh, United Kingdom for more XP but the fishing is slow uh, me and a couple of my buddies we farm sturgeon in California, that, that 9, 11, 1, and 3 uh, technique where you just fish 15 minutes at 9, uh, 15 minutes at, at 11, 15 minutes at 1, 15 minutes at 3. It doesn't matter. And the only reason to fish over than 15 minutes is if you got a fish on. And you'll, you'll get around $30,000 per night and around 5,000 XP. And that's what we did. And we just grind and grind and grind. Now, it takes a long time. To get from 50 to 54 where you can come down here unless you buy that DLC. If you buy that DLC, it gives you 30 days license here. Which, it, I'm, that's right, it's $8,000 a day for license here. Because two, that's $240,000. Then your 30 days of premium. There again, if you want to spend the money, that's a good one to buy. That'll get you here, get you fishing. Not only that, it's got the big enough rigs, the big enough reels that you can handle the fish down here uh that but that leviathan 10,000 is a real good reel for everything else except that really big big rod and that reel comes with that pack also in that pack is the glow crab uh also the uh uh, uh larva the green and, and orange lava haven't tried the orange one yet, but the green one is supposed to be pretty good. Uh, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, put them in the comments, and I'll, I'll answer you. Uh, any comments, good or bad, that's that's what I like. So there again, I'm sorry this is so long. I just wanted to put as much information out here as I could for to help you. That's what I want to do. You know, there's no ads on my videos. Never. Never on these videos. <clears throat> I'm just here to help you. So, thumbs up. Good luck. God bless you. God bless you and your family. Tight lines. Catch you some fish. Catch you a bunch of fish. 
come down here and catch a bunch of big fish. Uh, I'm looking forward to that 150 pound plus. It'll happen. It'll happen when it happens. So uh, until then, uh, I'll see you next time. So y'all come back now. You hear?